Hi folks, this is Ken from Osaka. Today we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating world of Japan's public transport system. Picture this, a world where punctuality, cleanliness and efficiency are not just buzzwords but a way of life. Now imagine what could happen if we applied these principles to the transport systems in other parts of the world, say New York City. Intrigued? You should be. Buckle up as we take this exciting journey through the efficiency of Japan's public transport system. First off, let's talk about something Japan is famous for, punctuality. In the land of the rising sun, timekeeping isn't just a courtesy, it's an art form and a matter of national pride. The Japanese have a word for it, jikan mitori, literally time hunting. And nowhere is this more apparent than in the country's public transport system. Imagine if your morning commute was never late, not even by a minute. Sounds like a dream? Well, in Japan, it's a reality. The public transport system here operates with clockwork precision where the concept of fashionably late is as foreign as a cheeseburger in a sushi bar. Take the Shinkansen or bullet train for instance. These high-speed marvels whisk passengers across the country at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. But it's not just their speed that's impressive, it's their punctuality. The average delay on the Shinkansen including times when Mother Nature decides to intervene, is a mere 54 seconds. Yes, you heard that right, 54 seconds. And it's not just the Shinkansen. The entire public transport network, from the local buses in Hokkaido to the subway trains zipping around Tokyo, operates with the same meticulous attention to time. In fact, a train in Japan is considered late if it's more than 60 seconds behind schedule. Now, I know what you're thinking. Surely there must be some delays. Well, you're right. But here's the kicker. When a train is late in Japan, the railway company issues delay certificates to affected passengers. These certificates serve as proof of the delay and are accepted without question by employers and schools. Now, that's taking punctuality seriously. So, how does Japan achieve this level of punctuality? Well, it's a combination of cutting-edge technology, rigorous maintenance, and a workforce that's trained to prioritize timekeeping above all else. And of course, there's the Japanese culture of respect for others' time, which underpins everything. It's clear that when it comes to punctuality, Japan's public transport is second to none. Now let's move on to another impressive aspect of Japan's public transport, cleanliness and efficiency. The Japanese have a deep-rooted cultural belief in cleanliness and it's reflected in every corner of their public transport system. Picture this, a bustling metro station during peak hours, filled with thousands of commuters, yet not a speck of litter in sight. The trains themselves are absolutely spotless, almost as if they were freshly delivered from the factory every single day. This immaculate cleanliness isn't just about aesthetics. It's a testament to the discipline and respect that the Japanese people have for their shared spaces. It's a social contract of sorts, where everyone understands that keeping the environment clean benefits everyone. But cleanliness is just one part of the equation. Efficiency is another key aspect that sets Japan's public transport apart. From the ticketing system to the routing, Every element is designed to make commuting as smooth and hassle-free as possible. Take the ticketing system, for example. It's a seamless process where you can use the same prepaid card for buses, trains, and even some taxis across the country. 
No need to fumble around for change or worry about buying the wrong ticket. And then there's the routing system. It's designed with such precision that you can plan your journey down to the minute. Whether you're going from Tokyo to Kyoto or just across town, you can be sure that there's a convenient and efficient route available. These principles of cleanliness and efficiency aren't just about making public transport more pleasant. They're about respecting the time and space of every commuter. They're about fostering a sense of community and shared responsibility. In the world of public transport, Japan truly stands out as a benchmark for cleanliness and efficiency. They've shown us that it's possible to have a system that's punctual, clean and efficient without compromising on any aspect. So not only is Japan's public transport punctual, but it's also remarkably clean and efficient. Now, how does Tokyo's public transport stack up against New York City's? Let's kick off with punctuality. In Tokyo, the trains are famously on time. If a train is five minutes late, it's considered a significant delay. And passengers can even get a delay certificate to show their employers. Over in New York City, however, the Metropolitan Transportation Authority reports that only about 75% of subway trains arrive within five minutes of their scheduled time. It's a stark contrast, right? Next up, cleanliness. Tokyo's public transport system is almost spotless. You'd be hard pressed to find a piece of litter on a train or subway platform. Even during peak hours, staff members are seen swiftly cleaning and maintaining the stations. However, cleanliness in New York City's subway stations and trains is a different story. We've all seen the images of trash strewn platforms and graffiti covered cars. Now we're not saying New York City isn't trying, but it's clear Tokyo is leading the way here. Efficiency is another critical aspect. Tokyo's train network is a marvel of efficiency with over 1000 stations and over 8,500 trains running daily. Despite this, the system runs like clockwork with minimal delays or disruptions. New York City, on the other hand, operates around 6,500 subway trains a day with fewer stations, yet struggles with regular delays and service disruptions. Lastly, let's talk about the frequency of service. In Tokyo, during peak hours, trains arrive every two to three minutes, even late at night you won't wait more than 15 minutes for a train. In New York City, however, train frequency varies significantly, with waits of up to 20 minutes during off-peak hours. So, we've seen how Tokyo excels in punctuality, cleanliness, efficiency, and frequency. And while New York City has its own charm and character, its public transport system could learn a thing or two from Tokyo. Clearly, there's a lot that New York City and indeed the US as a whole can learn from Tokyo. So what's the takeaway from all this? Japan's public transit shines in punctuality, cleanliness and efficiency, providing a model for the world. It's a system where the trains run like clockwork the stations sparkle and the service is streamlined to the letter. Drawing lessons from Japan, the US could revamp its public transport, making commuting a more pleasant and reliable experience. There's no doubt that Japan's public transport system sets a high standard for the rest of the world. This is Ken from Osaka, signing off. See you in the next video, folks.